In this tutorial, you will learn how to create, modify, and save variable rate recommendations using the tools available in the SMS desktop software. The software allows users to create prescriptions based on any layer currently in the software. You can generate planting, seeding, spraying, fertilizing, and treatment variable rate prescriptions and export them to a wide variety of displays on the market. To begin, create a new map of the data that you want to reference for your prescription. Then edit the legend to show the range values you would like to apply varying rates to. Once the reference layer legend is set to the desired ranges, go to File, New, and select Prescription Layer. You can also select the new prescription icon from the map toolbar. The prescription reference layer selection dialog will now open. Confirm in the preview that this is the layer you would like to reference. Otherwise, select the desired reference layer from the dropdown. The layers open in the current map will be used as a background image if none is selected. The dataset must be manually drawn using the prescription editor tools. After confirming the reference layer, click Next. Now we define the prescription result. First, select the rate units that you would like to apply, then select the type of prescription being created, and the rate attribute type for the prescription. In this case, we are creating a fertilizing prescription for phosphorus, so we will select pounds per acre as the rate units, fertilizing prescription dry as the operation, and target rate mass as the rate attribute type. Next, assign the target rate to each legend range on the map to the right. If you plan on using these target rates for other prescriptions, click Save Settings to save a template of the ranges. Then, when you would like to use these ranges again, Click Load Settings to import the ranges in without having to manually enter them. If the reference layer you use is a log data map such as grain harvest, planting, or spraying, you will have the option to define a minimum area. This option merges small areas in the resulting prescription, reducing small unique value areas. This results in a cleaner map. When auto is selected, the minimum size will vary based off of the field size. Selecting fixed will allow you to select a fixed area size for any field. You can now use the preview option to see what your prescription will look like before finishing. This allows you to make any significant changes before generating the final result. The prescription editor will now open. The new prescription dataset you have created will be displayed along with the prescription legend used to create it. Several tools are provided for examining and editing the prescription if needed. If you would like to change an area's rate, select the Assign Rate tool under Action Tools and Assign Values. Then select the rate that you would like to apply in the Select Rate legend. Click the area on the map that you would like to change the rate for. If you decide you need additional rates, click Edit Legend, then select Add Rate and enter a new rate. The prescription dataset created is a vector or polygon based dataset by default. By selecting the Convert Prescription tool, you can convert the prescription to a raster or grid based dataset. Additional Assign Value tools will activate when converting to a grid-based map. Select Paint Rate to manually paint in grid cells with the selected prescription legend value and brush size setting. Erase Rate is used to erase grid cells, resulting in white cells indicating no rate applied to that cell. Any export format that requires the data to be in raster format will be done by the software automatically upon export. So there is no need to convert the prescription unless you prefer to view and use the data in a format throughout the software. 
In that case, you would click Convert Prescription again to merge the grids with common rates and be back to a vector-based data set. After the prescription is saved to the management tree, you can continue to edit the layer to make changes to the rates. There's also the Adjust Prescription by Cost tool, which allows you to adjust prescription rates by entering costs, and then picking options of how you would like to achieve those cost goals. If you would like to learn more about how to utilize this tool, watch the video in the card above. When finished and ready to export, go to the File menu and choose to export the prescription data set to the display or a generic file type. Several formats are available to export to, including AgLeader, CaseIH, Kinsey, John Deere, Trimble, and generic files such as Shape or Text Files. Exported files are not automatically saved to the software, so you will need to click the Save button to keep the prescription permanently. Save prescriptions can be edited in the future, used in maps, and included in reports. When finished, click the Close button to exit the editor after saving your dataset. Now you know how to successfully create modify and save variable rate prescriptions in the SMS desktop software. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.